Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. We'll get serious for a second because today I'm going to show you the easiest and guaranteed method for how to get any hidden ability Pokemon that is available right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Guaranteed, it's going to be the easiest way. Now, I did a hidden ability guide not that long ago. Um, but since then, I've picked up a few tips and I've learned a lot more about the Raid Den. So I'm going to share my new method with you, which will make it 100% easier for all of you to get like any available hidden ability from any den. And you can just farm through them as much as you want using this, this method. Uh, I'll also show you how to identify what beam you need and making sure that you know exactly what to do. Because I've had a lot of questions from a lot of you after doing that guide about hidden abilities and dens and things like that. So just to clarify a lot of things to make it a lot more straightforward for you. So you can get these Pokemon to play with online or just to add to your collection or however, whatever you want to do with them. First thing is first, okay, so we're we're at the den that we want to be at, but how do you identify what den you want to be at? So the, the one thing that I use more than anything is Cerebi.net. I probably mention it a bunch in my videos, but Joel puts together an amazing compendium of Pokemon stuff and it's there to use, so make sure you use it. So I'm just going to hop over to Cerebi.net right now. You can see it on your screen, okay? So this is the page that we, we are wanting to go to. I'll link it down in the description below. This is the Max Raid Battle Pokemon Dens. Okay, so identifying the Pokemon that you want with a hidden ability, what you do is you scroll down this list. It's got every den in the wild area listed here with the Pokemon that you can catch within them depending on your sword or shield title. So for this example, I am currently looking for a hidden ability Obstagoon. So what we're gonna do, we know Obstagoon appears here. Let's go into Den 63 and see if we can actually get its hidden ability in this den. So you can see the array of Pokemon that are available here. And you can see Obstagoon here. Now, this is the bit of information you want to be looking at below. It says abilities, hidden ability possible. So hidden possible, right? So we know for a fact in this den 63, we're going to be able to get, the, the we've got the chance to get the hidden ability from Obstagoon, right? So you want to go, the next step is to go right down to the bottom. Identify where this den is located. So den 63 can be Bridgefield area. Uh, West Lake, Axwell, and Stony Wilderness, but it has to be a purple beam. So you can see here, purple beam, purple beam. This Pokemon, with its hidden ability, will not appear in a red beam. So you need a purple beam for this. Now you can use this method for any Pokemon that you're looking for with its hidden abilities. What you need to do is just make sure that you are identifying where the den is and making sure that you're seeing what beam is required. Now. Let's head back over to the game and uh, you can see here, this is the den that we require, but we need a purple beam, right? So the first thing to do is of course, come over to your options, make sure that your text is turned to slow. And then what you wanna do is just hit the save button in front of the den here. We all know the, the den trick. If you don't, I'll walk you through it quickly now. Now what you want to do, your text is slow, you want to drop a wishing piece into this den, but before the, the, the text finishes, if it's not purple, hit the home screen, come back out here. You could see quickly that it wasn't a purple beam, so that's where we want to, we want to get rid of it. Okay, so we want to just come back into the game and repeat that process as many times as it takes until we get that purple beam. So rather than stick around for me doing this process over and over again, I'm going to come back as soon as we do get that purple beam. So we finally got our purple beam. As you can see, we saved a bit of time. So once you've got a purple beam, the first thing you want to do is come over to your options, make sure that you turn your text back to fast, and then save the game, okay? So this is the first step. Now the second step in getting your hidden ability Pokemon is what you need to do is think of every start point Every start point that you are in front of it, that you've saved in front of this den, that's your first Pokemon, okay? So we'll click into it now. This is a three-star Thievul, okay? So that's our first Pokemon. Now we want to be changing the Pokemon and getting to the fourth Pokemon. The fourth different Pokemon is what we want to be doing and checking. And if that Pokemon has its hidden ability or not. And if it does, then that's great. We'll move on. But I'm just going to break this down for you a little bit now. So... What we want to be doing is just doing the date skip in this den to get through 
three Pokemon, get to the fourth one, and then we'll do that. So I'll just explain as we go along. So this is the first Pokemon, the first frame in this den. Now, you, what you want to be doing is hitting the invite others, then coming down into your home menu, into system settings, down into system, down into date and time. Make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is off. Come down to date and skip your date forward. This is for you guys that have never done the date skip before. So once you've done this, you come back into the game, into the den, and then you quit out of this. So this kind of fools the game into thinking 24 hours has passed. So when you click into the den again, it will think, yeah, it's activating, get you 2000 watts, which is great for farming, and then a new Pokemon appears. So this is Pokemon number two, which is a three star Lanoon. Okay, so this isn't the one we want in. So we've gone past one, we've gone past two. We want to get to the fourth one. So we need to do this process twi two more times. Okay, so we'll invite again. Come down into system settings. And then system, date and time. Skip forward one day. And then come back up into the game. Quit out. And then what we're going to do is fill the game again into thing in 24 hours has passed. And then we'll go into our third Pokemon, which will be a four star Feeble. So... What you've got to remember is that these first three Pokemon from whatever save point you're at will always be the same. It's the fourth Pokemon, so the next one that we're going to be doing this skip with is the one that we're after and the one that we can change and manipulate. The only thing that will not change about this fourth Pokemon is its ability, whether it's a hidden ability or a regular ability, and its EV spread and its nature. Okay, so they're all set. But all we really care about is the hidden ability, okay? So it doesn't matter about anything else. So this is our third Pokemon. We do this process once more. Come down into our system settings and then system a date and time. Skip the day forward one more day and then come back into the game, quit out. And now we are at our fourth Pokemon. So just think of it in blocks of four Pokemon. From wherever you save, you wanna be doing this process and it's blocks of four. So this is the Pokemon this is a special Pokemon that we want to be aiming for. So Weavile. Okay, so the thing that we want to do now is come back over to Cerebi.net, our den, and check if hidden ability is possible. Now Weavile, it's hidden ability is possible. So what we want to do at this point is we want to come back into the game and we want to just, we want to catch this Pokemon. So what we're going to do is just hop into it. It doesn't matter about saving or anything just yet because we want to check if this Weavile has its hidden ability or not. So, if this Weavile has its hidden ability, that means this fourth den is the one that we want to be saving in front, we want to be manipulating over and over until we get that Obstagoon in that den or that whatever Pokemon we're aiming for there. But we'll, I'll beat this Pokemon, I'll catch it, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we beat the Weavile. We're just about to catch it. We want to just use a repeat ball. It gives us the best chance if you've caught it before if not just use a dusk ball um, and we're just catching this for the purpose of checking this slot so the fourth slot is the one that we're checking just for these purposes we're not doing any manipulation at this point we just want to get to this fourth pokemon from our save point fourth pokemon and then check if it's a hidden ability pokemon or not if by any chance you get to the fourth slot and it's a pokemon that doesn't have the ability to obtain its hidden ability then you need to start the process again and reset that fourth slot to get a Pokemon that has the ability to have its hidden ability. Now, some dens might be harder than others, but most dens have a few Pokemon that are able to have hidden abilities within them. So, what we want to do, we've caught the Weavile. We want to come over. We want to check the Weavile first. Make sure that um, we'll, we'll check its hidden ability. I think it's Pickpocket, but we'll just double check. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, pickpocket. So if it is pickpocket, that's what we're looking for. We want to, we, we know we're into a winner. So let's see. It is pickpocket. Excellent. So, well, okay. That's great. So we know whatever we do, whatever Pokemon we get in this slot, if it is able to have its hidden ability, it will have its hidden ability. So what we want to do, the other thing to make sure, guys, is before you start this process, please, 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 please make sure that your auto saves are off. Set them to off. Because if your auto saves aren't switched off, once you come out of a raid and you've caught a Pokemon, it is going to automatically save and you're going to have to start the whole process again. So just make sure they're off before you start this whole process. That's the one thing I would say. I should have really dropped this in at the start of the video, but 
I'm mentioning it now, so just make sure you do that. Now, once you've caught the Weavile, you know that it is a hidden ability. What you want to do is just come back to your home screen and restart the game. Now, if the Pokemon in that den that you've just caught doesn't have its hidden ability and it is able to have that hidden ability, just what you want to do, we'll, we'll start the, I'll do that process right now so you know what to do. What you want to do is come back into the game as we're doing now. So you've got your purple beam. You know that fourth slot is no good. It's not got the hidden ability. So what you want to do is just go into the, the first Pokemon. So that three star Thieval is ours. Whatever yours is will be that first Pokemon. And you want to invite others again. You want to come back down into your system settings and go down to system, date and time and just skip the day forward one day. Okay. And then come back into the game. Quit out. And what you want to do is, from this point, you know this is now your first Pokemon. Because what you're going to do is actually save your game right here. And then you will start the process from the beginning again and go through one, two, three, four. Go to that fourth Pokemon and then check that one to see if it's got the hidden ability or not. Now, I'm not going to save now because we know our fourth slot is the, the hidden ability. Pokemon, so what we want to do is actually go into the den. We're on our second Pokemon now, so we want to do this process once again. And we want to go back down to system settings, just like we've been doing into system date and time, and skip the day forward one day. And then come back into the game and go into our third Pokemon. And hopefully this is kind of me going through this process. This is a four-star Thievil. Uh, we want to just invite others, go down. Hopefully explain this process makes this easier and going through with you makes it easier for you to do. So we're at our third Pokemon now. And what we're doing now is we know the first three Pokemon stay the same, but the fourth Pokemon can change. And what we want to be aiming for because our target Pokemon is that Obstagoon. We know that fourth slot is a hidden ability Pokemon if it is able to get that hidden ability. So we just need to get the Obstagoon in that slot. The fourth slot is interchangeable for the actual Pokemon. So what we're doing is just cycling through this process until we hit this Pokemon, which is hopefully the Obstagoon. But it's not, it's the Weavile again, which is which is a bit strange because it should change. Um, so we want to just quit the game again. And I'm going to show you this process once more, once more through, and then we'll be able to see hopefully the Pokemon change. And then what I'll do is come back when I've changed it to get the Obstagoon. Okay, so... But like I say, if you get to that fourth slot and you catch the Pokemon, it's not the hidden ability Pokemon. Start the game, come back to the first Pokemon, do the date skip, and then save in f after you've skipped that first Pokemon. So your second Pokemon is now your first Pokemon, and then start the process again. Get to a new fourth Pokemon slot and see if that one is the hidden ability. And if it is, then repeat this process where we're going through the first three Pokemon again. So invite others. Come down, there's a three star Thievil. You want to change the date, skip forward one date, come back into the game and then quit out. And the next Pokemon we know should be the three star Lanoon. Yeah, three star Lanoon, which is there. So invite others again, come back down into system settings, into system, date and time, skip forward one date. This should take us into that four star Thievil which is our third Pokemon slot. Yeah, uh, invite others once again. And then what we want to do, system settings into system, date and time. Skip the day forward one more day, finally. And then we are onto our fourth Pokemon, which should be, which was the five-star Weavile, which now should have changed into, yeah, a four-star Pangoro. But Pangoro isn't what we want. It's not the hidden ability Pokemon we want, so we have to just restart the game again and you just cycle this process through and through until you get that pokemon that you're looking for the target pokemon which is in our case the obstagoon in that fourth slot and then we can catch it we know that it's going to be uh, the hidden ability pokemon if you, that's the only pokemon that you want from the raid den before you actually go into the battle once you've found that pokemon in the fourth slot you can just save in front of it so if you don't catch it you can just make sure you can reset the game and then start over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do, cycle through this this process until I get to that Obstagoon. And we'll be back when I do find that Obstagoon. So be two seconds, my friends.
Hello friends, so you're probably wondering why I haven't caught the Obstagoon, but doing this actual max raid by myself is proving to be the most difficult thing in the world. So I'm going to have to invite others, hopefully a few people jump in on this raid with me, because doing it with the kind of rental Pokemon that just get thrown in with you is just impossible, because Obstagoon gets to use Imp Obstruct every other turn, so it's basically not taking any damage we can't break the shield and i've went through this raid den twice and had no luck so this is why i'm looking for some partners real life players to help me out with this one and again i'm going to be right back when i've caught this one and we'll get this hidden ability proved once and for all okay friends we finally beat the obstagoon after like three attempts which is crazy now because i'm hosting the raid i can catch it in a nice any ball that I'd like. I think a moon ball could be quite nice for this Obstagoon. And then we're going to be able to check its hidden ability and make sure that it is, as I said, it is going to be, it is going to be a hidden ability. Pokemon, it's going to have that Define ability because we know that this fourth slot has the hidden ability Pokemon locked into it. That's what we want to be doing. Each time we want to be using that four kind of frame cycle where we're going through four Pokemon, getting to that fourth Pokemon using the date skip and making sure that that Pokemon has its hidden ability first of all and then once we do we cycle that process again to cycle out that Pokemon in the full slot making sure that it's interchanged the one that we want and then we go ahead and catch it and as you can see we've caught the Obstagoon it's going to be put into our party and we're going to quickly just pop into our party option now and have a quick look and double check that this is defiant there we go so that is how you can guarantee yourself any hidden ability pokemon that's available within the dens in the wild area so all you need to do is go through step by step what i've shown you today it's gonna save you just sitting in front of a den and mindlessly going through it until you hit that that pokemon by chance and then maybe not coming across it at least doing it this way might seem a bit long-winded, but it guarantees you that that Pokemon, when you do get it, when you identify that that fourth Pokemon has its hidden ability, that you're able to use that cycle of going through the, the full process. So one, two, three, and into that fourth one and making sure that that one is the Pokemon that you're after because it will change every time you do that four slot cycle. And then you can get the hidden ability Pokemon that you want. So I hope this makes sense. If you've got questions, do leave them down below in the comment section. I will try and brief this out in the description as well for you guys. I'll leave the links to everything that we've mentioned in this video down below in the description. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Do leave a like on the video. It really helps the channel out, like helps the video out a lot as well. And um, do subscribe to the channel for more of these guides in the future. I'll be doing a lot of news updates with Sword and Shield. We've got the DLCs coming out. We're going to have new Gigantamax Pokemon probably released. The new events released um, at the start of February because the ones that are running at the minute have had their dates announced when they're going to end. So there we'll be covering all of that sort of stuff. So make sure you do subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when the videos go up. And uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all for the next one. Happy hunting for those hidden ability Pokemon. I wish you all the best with getting the Pokemon that you want so until next time guys take care and bye bye